Hello, this is my favourite book. It is my favourite book because it has lots of different stories about some of the most horrible parents. This is Posse Pooch. She just loves dogs. And whenever there is a fancy dress day at her daughter's school, she always hands her in a dog costume. This is Peter Pong. He just has some of the most smelly, smelliest feet in the world. But he somehow is able to ruin his daughter's cooking competition. I think this book is for people aged 8 to 11, but it depends on your reading skill. Bye! Thanks for watching! The Good Thieves Written and illustrated by Catherine Rundle, who as well as writing award-winning books, she also is a talented artist. I would recommend this book because it was the perfect mix between humour and suspense. By chapter 2 I was intrigued and by chapter 10 I was totally hooked. It is 323 pages and 26 chapters. The publisher says that they would recommend this book between 8 and 12 year olds. But I think this book is suitable for anybody eight and above. This book is full of dark surprises, shocking secrets, devastating truths and tremendously twisted plots. It is a grim and hilarious tale about a young girl in New York whose grandfather gets treated out of everything he owns. With the family's wealth lost, the girl tries to fix things. But then... With scares around every corner, this book has something for everyone. My St Clair's book review. If you need to have a laugh, this is definitely the book for you. St Clair's is a series of books written by Enid Blyton and illustrated by David Roberts. There are nine different books full of exciting stories. It's about a boarding school full of cheeky girls and fed up teachers. The main characters are Pat and Isabel O'Sullivan, who moved to St Clair's but aren't very happy. They're going to make life very difficult for themselves. I will describe the girls as very funny but also way too mischievous because they're always up to no good. I would recommend this book for ages 7 to 12 and I would rate this book 5 stars because of its hilarious jokes and pranks. The Book Talk of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling The main characters are Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger and Albus Dumbledore. In the start of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry finds out he's a wizard and there's a whole community of wizards and witches all around the world. Harry goes on lots of adventures with Ron and Hermione to try and defeat Harry's arch enemy, Lord Voldemort, who killed Harry's parents when Harry was just a baby. You should read this book if you're adventurous and brave. I like the Harry Potter books because once you finish the first, you can just go on to the next. You could also read and grow up with Harry and his friends and his enemies. Read the first book when you turn 11, then the next when you're 12, and so on. Once you've found the world of wizards and witches, you'll wish you weren't a muggle. This book is aimed at 9 to 12 years and above. I recommend this for people who like cricket. The age range is 10 plus years. It is an autobiography. The book starts with Ben Stokes talking about his childhood. It continues with a lot of information about how his cricketing career progressed. It tells us a lot of facts and his stats about cricket and includes some pictures of him over the years. I particularly like looking at the scorecards and some of his greatest achievements and it, is, and it has inspired me to keep working hard at my cricket future. The book is 290 pages long. There are parts of it when you need to know a bit of cricket knowledge, example different types of bowling techniques, fielding positions. I have really enjoyed reading it as I really like my cricket from reading the book from reading the book I have learnt that it takes a lot of hard work, effort and practice to become one of the greatest cricketers. I'm bored. Oh 
why didn't you read a book? My favourite book is Stepfather Christmas. It is a festive countdown in 25 chapters and it is great. It is written by L.D. Lapsky and it's about a girl named Harper who really thinks her new stepdad could be Father Christmas. It's 25 days till Christmas and Harper gets a surprise when her mum announces she's bringing her new boyfriend home for the holidays. Nick seems nice enough, but why do strange Christmassy things happen whenever he's around? Harper's, Harper's convinced that Nick must be far of Christmas, and if her mum and older brother won't believe her, she'll just have to find a way to, to prove it. It's a heartwarming and hilarious festive story, and it's aged between 9 and 13 years. It is a great way to get into the festive spirits. Oh, thanks, I'm definitely going to read this book. Hey, I want that book. So, hello, I'll be interviewing on the book Percy Jackson. So, what's the story all about? Well, the story is about a boy who is half God travelling around America to trying to receive a, a thunderbolt which has been stolen from Zeus. Are there any bad guys in Percy Jackson's story? Yes, Luke is a bad guy. He is... He's the one who stole the thunderbolt from Zeus. So how old is Percy Jackson in the book? Percy Jackson is 12 at the start of the book. What is the average age for someone to read Percy Jackson? It depends if you're a confident reader, but if you're in between, I would say about nine. So out of ten, how much do you rate this book, Percy Jackson? It's nine and a half, but it's really good, it's got lots of action, but it's very, very, very long. This book is called Rugby Legends. There is no author, so it's a company that publishes books. The name of the company is called Luna Press. There is no illustrator because it's a fact book. I think you should get this book because it has lots of interesting facts about the greatest rugby players. The flat facts include what position they played, what country and club they played for, also how tall they were, and lots more international and club facts. Tell me, Arch, what is the best book? What is the best book, I hear you ask? Are you tired of trolling the library for that special book to captivate your imagination? Well, look no further. Because Robo Dog has got you covered.